Yes. Of course I remember VHS. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. <laughs> I remember floppy disks as well. Yeah. Um, I've got a Wednesday weather word Wednesday for you. Wednesday weather word. So last week I talked about crepuscular rays, technically two words, but still, which was shafts of light that illuminate atmospheric haze. And since then I've had some more lovely photos in of those. So I thought we'd have a quick uh, look at these. So I've got uh, one in from Michelle Phillips here. Lovely sparkling nice. through the trees. Oh, lovely, dramatic. Isn't it? That's through the clouds there from John and Jean and Selzy. And finally this one from Kim Robertson, another one where you can just oh, see those beautiful shafts of light. From now, really? now this week, yes. got another word for you. Yes. It's apricity. Apricity. But it'll be too easy to tell you what it means. I thought you could guess. I've yeah. got three definitions for you. Lovely. Is it the warmth of the sun on a winter day? The warmth of the sun. Is it the sound of stomping on fresh snow? Stomping on snow. Or is it thick mist that shrouds coasts and hills? Um, A. Hey? I have got this feeling. Hey? You're right. Are you right? Oh, You're she's right. right. The warmth of the sun <laughs> on a winter day. Not much for today. A bit more tomorrow, more on Friday. So a bit of a pristity to come. To come, yes. We like a pristity. <laughs> we do like a pristity. <laughs> and we like Holly Green as well. Here she is. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. We've had a lot of cloud overhead for today. It has tried to brighten up in places, but that brightness has been in pretty short supply for most of us. Now, we are in a mild air mass, and we stay in this mild air mass for tomorrow. Mostly or often dry, but certainly not entirely. And then we start to see a change for Friday and into Saturday, with colder but brighter conditions taking over. So we're currently in this yellow orangey air mass but later on tomorrow we've got a weather front pushing through and that allows that colder air to start flooding its way in through tonight though we've got this mild and quite moist air mass our cloud is sinking lower cloaking our hills giving us quite a misty murky picture and although it's dry through the first half of the night we do start to see the risk of some showery outbreaks of rain feeding in through the early hours though not too much of it it does stay mild as well with lows between around 8 to 10 degrees into tomorrow morning so it's a mild start it's a bit of a murky start and possibly a slightly damp start in places too but we should see things improving through the course of the morning some sunny spells starting to emerge so bright for a time and it is mild as well 12 13 degrees perhaps but this is the weak weather front that's pushing in bringing a bit of patchy rain as the afternoon goes on and also some colder conditions so these are our times of high water tomorrow, Brighton at 9.43 in the morning and 10.05 in the evening. And it is that chillier picture for Friday and the weekend. I think a frosty start on Friday, but the payoff is in good spells of sunshine. Then for Saturday, a few showers, but hopefully not too many. A decent amount of dry weather and hopefully quite bright at times as well. But cloud thickens through the day on Sunday with some outbreaks of rain heading our way for the afternoon. Have a very good evening. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. And in just a moment, the ITV Evening News Hour continues with Mary Nightingale. So Gita's got our late news and I'm off now to watch her on VHS. So from the team here at ITV Meridian, thank you very much for watching. Take care, join us soon. Bye-bye.